it is repetition which makes for perfection. Yeah. Well, I said we'd love to get John on the show to do this, but John's he works with a really wonderful uh, 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 torpedo uh, company. Yeah. yeah, he works with another uh, pe pe people, and they, they they love them. They love them to death, and they don't want to share them. That's okay. We're still glad he tunes into our show every once in a while. So well, thank you for joining us. John actually does uh, he does live live sketching on, on YouTube on his channel. If anybody's ever watched it, it's it's, it's fantastic to watch. But he is so meticulous; it takes him a very long time to do it. Um, but I mean, you know, he's drawing straight lines freehand that are just ridiculous. You know, I mean, uh, it's fantastic to watch; it really is. Uh, but he's just not; it's not it's not something he's going to do quick, right? You know, so it doesn't doesn't lend doesn't doesn't lend to to his skill set. Absolutely. Do a show like this. Yeah. But we'd love to have John on just for an interview or something like that. John, if you ever want to come on, buddy, we'd love to have you on. You know that. Actually, and John, if you're not doing anything and you want to come on now, just message Ken and uh, we can get you a link. No pressure. You might be in the middle of something. But if you'd like to come on, you're more than happy to join us. People would love to see you. But he you says uh, he wants like – Again, sorry. You know, no, I was going to say he wants he wants any suit you want to draw. And he said give it a little atmosphere, lightning, lightning. you know. He wants a little, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've got a few pieces from uh, uh, Jason was saying he's got four pieces. I've, I've gotten a few pieces. He, one time John offered up a, um, a sketch up and um, and I bought it and I asked him, I said, hey, you can take your time and do it. I just wanted you to do it on the live stream. So he did. And the day that he did it on the live stream, I had the flu. And I was I was watching it wrapped in blankets Trying to keep my eyes open, <laughs> just like oh, uh, it was, it was, it was. I had to go rewatch it again later, because um, I really wanted to watch it. And I ended up getting crazy sick, and uh, it was a shame. But now the con seasons are cons are coming back and stuff. I'll probably run into John a little more. I see John all the time. He's uh he's not too far from me in uh, Central Florida here, so I will see him at a lot of local cons and things like that. Absolutely. He said he was getting ready to go to bed before he made this claim. So, <laughs> Shane, we did discuss the jerseys. Uh, you want to do the to talk about the jerseys one more time, real quick, for Shane? Sure, sure. J Shane, did you see it? I can show it. So I picked out, uh, you know, the old baseball jersey style Hall of Fame or something like that. <laughs> Shane says I'll yes. Be, I need, and I'll be offering those up. So. <clears throat> but if anybody's interested, you can certainly message me now and uh, we can talk about it. I was doing a whole, I was trying to get all of the Sinister Six from John. I think I have four. I need Doc Ock and uh, Lizard, I think. Yeah. Uh, I had him do a Rhino. I had him do Vulture. Uh, I can't remember what else. He had him do a craven. I have to look. Oh, splat! Yeah, I know. I love when he does the splatter. Yes. Not senior. Yeah, senior is retired, so you're not going to get anything from senior. Basically, that's not already it doesn't already exist. It's not already out there. So. We're good. We're not that good. But I will be offering up a piece for sale on Amateur Dueling Dealers on April 11th. So tune in to Comic Art Fans Live for that one. And uh, throw in your towel at getting it. And it's it's a, it's a nice one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I've got a, I got a bunch of books. I've got uh, John to sign from all the all, a lot of the cap stuff he inked for uh, with Zach and uh, definitely some Secret Wars books. I 
Amelia, if those were all on like note cards, uh, I think I've seen those. That's cool, man. Listen, there's a reason why this industry is so much fun. It's just, it's, it's like, you know, you get one piece and it just, it makes you want to get more. And it's such a cool thing to be able to collect, you know, the characters you love from the artists you love. And that's why we do this, man. So. And little little tiny remarks and stuff. That's a great way to start for people who don't have the money to go full force into this. Like I said, you know, our, our the sketches we do on Tuesday nights, we try to keep very affordable. But if, even if you know, one hundred fifty dollars or, or two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars is too much for you, you know, remarks are always a great way to go. So getting something from the artist you like, you know, it's, everything's got to have a stepping off point. It gets you know, that's where everybody starts off is small. You know, nobody goes in, you know, buying their first piece and they buy a you know McFarlane cover or something. That's not how it works, you know. I said, I actually, I have this little tiny book that's not even, it's like nine inches tall that I get guys to do stuff in, you know, usually free, sometimes 50 bucks or whatever. Got some cool stuff in here. I love this one. So unique. It's Jim Starlin. I think one of the early, I think one of the first drawings that uh, Kirby did of Spider-Man, he did the same thing. Did it going backwards? Yeah. Really cool. I had a really cool artist do a. Um, I had an artist do this really cool, like Neil Adams, Man Bat. His name was Larry Alexander. I don't even know what he was known for or did, but you know. Well, Emilio, I don't know where you live, but we're going to be bringing John to about uh, five or six shows this year. So if you're in any of the locations that we're going to be in, come by, man. Get your chance. It's a good thing uh, John woke up when he uh, did, because uh, th this is probably going to end up being the last sketch of the night, I think. Or just or, or waited or waited to go to bed, I should say, not woke up. Very cool. Yeah, nice. You guys don't realize Larry's doing all this while he's holding the camera and, and his other hand. Yeah, and he he's actually right handed. So he's drawing these with his left hand. <laughs> John, you're watching? This is how Larry slings ink, man. Slaps it on there with that old crusty brush that he loves to use. Is that the old crusty one? No, I always I, most of my brushes are usually pretty new. They just because they're cheap brushes, they don't last very long. <laughs> I get brushes at the dollar the dollar store. It's funny sometimes we'll we'll talk to an artist and I'll say, "Well, I use a uh, 
Right. So and so, blah blah blah. Larry's like, I get my brushes at the dollar store. Yeah. Well, that's, that's when you say it's not that you know the carpenter can't blame his tools. It's all about <laughs> the carpenter. I think there was a there was a time when somebody was upset about something that Bill's and Kevin did. So he said, "Oh, it looks like you do this. Looks like you drew this thing with a piece of piece of burnt chocolate." So then Bill's response was, "You know, I have to try that." <laughs> I can't wait to see how he's gonna throw the lightning in here. It's gonna be so cool. I don't know if you want to uh, play much pool, but it is said that in order to really be a good pool player, you have to be able to play with everything. And um, art is the same way. To me, if you can't take cheap stuff and do something good with it, then, um, you know, you can be a real artist. Don't forget he wants some lightning in there, Larry. You said what? So he wants some lightning in there. Don't forget. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Uh, when I first started, uh, you know, uh, working with Larry, um, he, he's talking to me about, you know, his, his career and stuff. And he said uh, he, in his career, he was actually known as a tight penciler. And But, you know, my familiarity with him was always, you know, watching him ink everything that, I, that I've seen him draw. Um, no, I very rarely ever got to ink anything. Most of the ink stuff is stuff I did on my own. See, there you go. Uh, Bill, John says that he um, he used to play. He loved playing pool. He used to play for hours in the mid '80s. Yeah, me too. He said Bill uses cosmetic sponges also. The thing I recently found out is uh, if you go to a pool hall and somebody comes in with their own stick, those are usually not the best players. The best players are the ones who you would never even know is good. That's the whole point of being a great pool player is never let anybody know how good you are. John wants to know what your game is in the pool hall. Nine ball, what do you play? Ball. But I haven't done it in a while, but eight ball. I have to keep reminding myself that I'm holding this thing. I just start drawing. It's almost like I'm putting putting it down. I can't believe you've been holding it this whole time. <laughs> So what what happened? Did it break? No, I couldn't get the stand to work right. No, it didn't break. I just don't have a stand right. And then the show was coming on, and then I was having trouble getting in. I can see Jason. Jason, I can see you hustling at the pool halls, buddy. Oh, he's got the white coming out. There it is. And all this art Larry will just bring to me when we go to a, um, Philly. Yeah, two weeks. So... When I come back from Philly, guys, that's when I'll be shipping all this stuff out. Along with a bunch of amazing Spider-Man number ones. Shirts, yeah. And baseball jerseys. And then I go to Planet. <laughs> like 10 days later. <laughs> that's right.
and then I think after Planet is MegaCon, right? You get a little yeah, bit of a reprieve. Plan yeah, Planet's in April, and then uh, May is MegaCon, and then uh, John's uh, gonna be at WonderCon. John's gonna be at WonderCon. Nice, John. Don, are you gonna be at? We're gonna be at. Um, we're doing Planet. We're doing MegaCon. Then we're doing Heroes. Great, uh, great. We're doing um, Terrificon. Terrificon, and then oh, before Terrificon, we're doing Chicago and. Um, and we'll be in we'll be in San Diego. We're not we're, we're that's an unofficial kind of thing, but we'll be there. So if you're at any, yeah, we're not tabling, but we'll, we'll be there. Yeah, and then we're doing terrific con. It'll be the last show we have at the end of, and then we do Baltimore in October. Yeah, we, I so, mean we might there might be things that come in between, but as of right now, that's our uh, yeah, that's our schedule. Still trying to talk Ken into Rose City. It's Portland. a long way away. It is the direct opposite of where I am. Like Caddy Corner. <laughs> yeah. Trivicon, I'm not doing Trivicon. 4C is doing Trivicon. I, I couldn't make it work either, so I get it. Are you going to be in San Diego? Cool. There you go. We'll stop by and say hey, hey. Absolutely. Heroes, Baltimore, New York City, East Coast. Okay. So we'll see you at Heroes in Baltimore, and, too. In Baltimore, too. Yeah, nice. Let me put Jason to work at the table. Okay, that's a strong. All right. There it is. All right. Are oh, you only doing two days in Maggie County? Yeah, we'll be there all four days. Larry will be there. That's right.